FM 91.5, WBEZ Chicago. Welcome back to Jazz Alive with the old and new dreams band from the Keystone Corner in San Francisco. In 1959, the jazz world was startled by the daring but organic innovations of the Ornette Coleman Quartet with Don Cherry, Charlie Hayden, and Billy Higgins. Higgins was later replaced by Ed Blackwell, Ornette's old friend from his New Orleans days in the early 50s. Encouraged by well-established musicians like John Lewis and Gunther Schuller, the quartet undertook bold new approaches to harmony, rhythm, and melody. Despite critics' disapproval, their individual and collective innovations had a great influence on the musical generation which followed them. Although the quartet disbanded in 1962, each member went on to make significant contributions to the music. Coleman led various trios for several years. In 1968, he wanted to form a new quartet, so he sent for his old Texas high school friend, tenor saxophonist Dewey Redman. Both Charlie Hayden and Ed Blackwell rejoined the band, and on special occasions, Ornette would bring in trumpeter Don Cherry. By 1970, everyone once again went their separate ways. Then in 1976, an Italian record company brought together the quartet of Cherry, Redman, Hayden, and Blackwell for an album entitled Old and New Dreams. Despite his physical absence from the sessions, Ornette Coleman was certainly present in musical spirit. For Jazz Alive's special New Year's Eve broadcast from the Keystone Corner in San Francisco, these four men came together again, adopting the name of their album as the name of their group. Let's join the quartet now as they are introduced by Master of Ceremonies, Leon Thomas. Jazz Alive it is. The group you're about to hear now is a fantastic corporation of musicians, a music cooperative that defies description. On trumpet and piano, Don Cherry. On tenor saxophone, Dewey Redmond. On bass, Charlie Hayden. And on drums, the master percussionist, Ed Blackwell. The old and the new dream. The old and the new dream.
Uh, that's uh, uh, our net composition called uh, Happy House. This is a song that Charlie Hayden has written for Mao Zedong. It's called Chairman Mao.
we like to play another composition of Arnett Coleman. This one is called Broken Shadows.
Don Cherry on trumpet. Keyboard. Don Cherry. Dewey Redmond on tenor, saxophone, and oboe. Dewey Redmond, master. On bass, Charlie Hayden, Charlie Hayden. Charlie Hayden. And on drums, the Iron Man, the master of percussion, the whirlwind. Ed Blackwell. Ed Blackwell. That about winds it up here. At Jazz Alive, we hope you've enjoyed it. We're going to take a break with you now, and all across the nation and all across the world, Happy New Year. Thank you. And thank you, Leon Thomas, from the Keystone Corner in an environment charged with the joy of music and the spirit of the new year. The Old and New Dreams Band performing Ornette Coleman's Happy House, Charlie Hayden's Chairman Mao, and a Coleman medley of Broken Shadows and Street Woman. And thank you for being a part of the celebration. I'm Billy Taylor. Jazz Alive is produced by Tim Owens, our writer, Michael Cascuna. The set with the Old and New Dreams Band was recorded on December 31st, 1978 by Jim Anderson. Our thanks to Keystone Corner owner Todd Barkin and his staff. Paul Blay's solo piano performance was recorded on October 2nd, 1977 by Chuck Thompson. The Alvin Batiste Quartet was recorded by Paul Blakemore on April 29th, 1979. Special thanks to New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival producer Quint Davis. Our post-production engineer is John Widoff. Since Jazz Alive went on the air in October of 1977, we've received thousands of letters from you, the listener, telling us what you like and dislike about our show. Now, if you haven't written in, why not take a few moments to do so? In return, we'll put you on the Jazz Alive mailing list for schedules. Write to Jazz Alive, National Public Radio, Washington, D.C., 20036. And join us next week for the Irene Crawl Memorial Concert from Los Angeles with Al Jarreau, Willie Bobo, Jackie and Roy, David Frischberg, Common McRae, and others. That's next week on Jazz Alive. The executive producer for Jazz Alive is Steve Rath. Production funds for this program were provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. This is NPR National Public Radio.